Mercedes AMG Interview Lounge. Okay, I heard a rumor. So obviously you have this show going on now, but you a while ago shot a pilot with Meghan Markle, correct? Oh my god, that was a very a long very time. A very long time ago. <laughs> I like I that you made that like, seem like you're doing you're also doing a pilot. You're doing something else. You're doing a show with Meghan Markle right now. Well, I read a week ago <laughs> that whoever bought it was thinking about maybe bringing it back. Can they do that at the same time while you I have I don't one show? think they can. Okay. Um I think, you know, she's in a position where people really want to uh publicize her <laughs> and I think they were like, "Well, what else can we find?" And I think there was a, we did a pilot at some point for Comedy Central and it resurfaced in some way and then everybody was like so are you doing a show with Meghan Markle I was yeah. like we're hearing I don't I don't think so why are that, you lying not, yeah why that's are right are you still friends with Meghan Markle <laughs> I am not I, I didn't um, did you I, do I, shots with Meghan Markle <laughs> that's a, were you invited to the wedding <laughs> enough about you Max let's talk about Meghan Markle I was not invited to the wedding <laughs> I'm so glad uh, you're here so we can talk about Meghan Markle <laughs> l- l- last time I did James Corden's show uh, he wanted like he wanted to talk about it and he went to the wedding and yeah. I was like so what do you like what do you get for a gift at that kind of money he was like i'm not telling you what i got for a gift i go well i'd like to know like what do you do how do you like what's the appropriate and um and that that conversation ended quickly (laughs) that's sad (laughs) there you go she wants to be one with the people anyway enough about megan marco uh you're talking about being on with james james corden right yeah uh you've done corden you've done fallon the best yeah fallon by the way when you leave the show, they give you swag. I got a Jimmy Fallon blanket. I got Jimmy Fallon these cookies. It's great. So you're saying that out of all the shows, which gives the best swag? Oh my god, I feel like this is really put, putting me on the spot right now. But Colbert does. What does Colbert really? give? What do you get? Colbert. Sometimes you just go in there, and I don't know what's happening. It, it feels like some sort of regifting situation, but <laughs> yes. But it's like the people that you want to be re- like. I I don't know who's giving these things away, but. Every time I've gone in there, there's all these different things. You're like, and I can take this? Like what? <laughs> like just a like, refrigerator? It's stuff that I mean, like... Ikea? You can just tell the quality of the goods. What is that it, are, though? Give us the name of one of the there goods. There was like... Last time I was in there, there was like a really nice blanket in there. I want to say it was, if it wasn't cashmere, it sure felt like it. Right. <laughs> and, and I was like, this is something I would buy for my wife as a gift for like her birthday. Right. Um... <laughs> And 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 I just I was sort of a stunt, but it was big. I I couldn't take it. Um, but I was like, man, this is really I can I just you just keep having this thought of, and I can take this. <laughs> <laughs> this is for me. But then yeah, and then there's all this like all this like organic candy, like all this like fancy candy and cookies and stuff. Like, and like the expensive stuff. Oh my yeah, for real. <laughs> and then you're taking all this stuff. And you're like, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this. <laughs> like carrying it down the street in New York. I mean, last time I was here, it was it was like. You know, fifteen below zero, and you're like, I'm just, I gotta take this. I'll never get another opportunity. These cookies, they're, they're they look expensive. 